bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Verse 10 says, If you keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and, am, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you. Listen, that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, as I have loved you. Greater love of no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. All of that fulfilled, amen. My thought, amen, this morning is a tree decorated with only one light. God decorated a tree, but with only one light. How many of y'all know that the Bible bears out that Jesus Christ, amen, would be hung upon a tree? Amen, and upon that tree, and we use that as a reference to the cross. Amen, and we know that the Bible bears out that Jesus Christ was the light and he came into this world and the world comprehended it. Amen, not because the world was full of darkness. Amen, but we knew that that tree that God, amen, picked out, it was going to be a tree that was going to be planted on Galgotha's hill. Amen, so we know tonight, amen, this morning, praise God, that there's one light that come into the world and he exposed himself to all men, amen, that he would be that light. And I think about it this morning as we, amen, go about our everyday lives and every, every day and around Christmas time when we go and we pick out a tree, me and my wife, we picked out one and, amen, we looked at it, it had a flat side to one side of it, but we said we could trim it here, trim it there and kind of make it, amen, look right. We put it in the stand and put some water in the stand and it was wrapped up tight and, amen, after a little while it started sucking up that water, it kind of fell out, amen, and we could see the fullness of the tree and it looked good. Come on, y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen, but we looked at that tree, amen, before we bought it, amen, to pick out the best tree, amen, that would suit our house and our living room and for us. How many of you know that, praise God, that whenever the Father, amen, looked, amen, for a tree, praise God, to decorate with the one light that he was going to send into this world. Ah, he wasn't looking for the best looking tree, but an old rugged cross as the Bible bears it out, amen, and as the song bears out the old rugged cross. Amen, nothing, amen, nothing pretty about it, amen, a place of affliction and a place, amen, that Christ, amen, was hung. Amen, it paid a price, glory to God, amen, for each and every one of us so that this morning we'd be able to come into this place, amen, and have the confidence of God in our lives knowing that we've been redeemed, amen, we've been restored and we've been cleaned, amen, by the blood that was shed at Calvary, glory to God, amen, and that blood, amen, over 2,000 years of not has lost its effectiveness, amen, it's still just as powerful today, amen, to cleanse and clean up and restore as it ever was, praise God, amen, why? Because it's backed up by the authority and the power of God. Amen. And I want you to know something today. Amen. Jesus Christ said, Amen, that all your sins be forgiven thee. Amen. And they said, Who is this man? Amen. It can forgive sin. Amen. And he perceived in his heart, Amen, their thoughts. Amen. And he said, So that you may know. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And the Son of Man has power to forgive sin. He said, I say unto thee, Arise up. Amen. And walk. Glory to God. Amen. Manifested himself and exposing his power. Glory to God. Amen. God is still manifesting and exposing his power. Amen. Today, praise God, in 2000. Amen. In 15, 16 coming. Amen. But I want you to know something. Amen. Our heavenly father. Amen. Loved us enough. Amen. And he chose out a tree. Amen. A tree of affliction. Amen. And glory to God. He decorated it with just one light. He decorated his tree with just one light. Praise God, we got to have all kind of lights on our trees. Amen. How many of you would go buy a tree, and I think they, cost, they generally cost somewhere around $30. I don't know. Some of you might get them cheaper. I don't know. A lot of times if you go out to the Christmas tree farm, you're going to have to dig in. Amen, because they're proud of theirs, and the thing about it is you're going to have to cut it down too. But you can go to Harvest or somewhere like that, Walmart, whatever, they already got it cut out. But how many of you would go and pay the money for a Christmas tree, amen, and would bring it back to your house, amen, and put just one light on it? It wouldn't work. 
We got to have, amen, you know in, in Walmart, the whole section, amen, when you go in out there to Garden Center, amen, when Christmas time comes, amen, you can't find no weed eater string, amen, you can't find nothing, you know why, amen, because they condense it all down, amen, into a spot about as big as this piano, amen, and every other aisle, amen, is full of Christmas balls, Christmas ornaments, amen, everything to do with Christmas, amen, you know why, because they want you to decorate your tree, amen, your tree ain't a tree unless it looks like that. Amen. If somebody went to your house and they said, Brother Scott, he ain't having one light on his tree. Amen. But I want you to think about the tree that God decorated. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen, the only son that he had, the only son that he will ever have. Amen, and he gave him, amen, as a ransom. Amen, glory to God. You talk about a Christmas tree gift. Amen, and he wrapped him, praise God. Amen, in the crimson red. Amen, of the blood that flowed from Calvary. Amen, he gave this gift that whosoever believeth. Amen, Jesus Christ said, if you believe in God, amen, believe in me also. Amen, I and the Father are one. Amen, what a gift. Jesus said, greater love had no man than he laid down his life for his friend. Amen. When you read that scripture, amen, where Jesus Christ was toting that cross, amen, when you watch the passion of the Christ and you see, amen, just as, amen, they could, they could develop it on cinema. Amen, and in the theater of your mind, if you can look and see a man, amen, that was beaten, amen, the way he was beaten. Oh, listen to me today, amen, and they put that cross on his back, and amen, he was trying to tote it. Amen, he wasn't running away from the situation. Amen, but glory to God. Amen, I want you to think about today. Amen, as we sit around our Christmas trees. Amen, a few days. Amen, with all the presents wrapped for the children. Amen, all the gifts. Amen, the splendor of the tree. Amen, and how good it looks. Amen, I want you to think about the tree. Amen, that God decorated. Amen, with just one light. What a beautiful tree. We would not even recognize a tree with one light as being beautiful. But when we look at that light and what it represents, that one light, it represents freedom. It represents restoration. Amen, it represents, amen, us not being bound by the grave. How many of you know this morning, amen, if it was all the thing we had to hope for, amen, was being put in a box, amen, and planted in the ground somewhere, how miserable of a people we would be, amen, but, but through that one tree, Amen, that one tree, glory to God. Amen, and that light was put upon. Amen, I don't have to worry about. Amen, being captured and captive in a grave. Amen, but glory to God, I can look forward. Amen, and see the future. Amen, and see freedom in eternity. Praise God. By a tree that God decorated with only one light. Amen. Nothing else. They mocked him and they, they put his clothes off and put a robe on him to mock him and put a crown of thorns on his head. Amen, listen to me tonight. Amen, they was trying to put the light out. But how many of you know, amen, that God put just one light, amen, on that tree? Amen, and that light still shining bright today. Amen, they tried to snuff it out. How many of you, amen, using the same Christmas lights that you used last year? Some of you may be. Some people, amen, when they take the Christmas light down, they... They wrap them up. Hey, there's a guy that lives down the road from us. I know it's going to take him at least, at least, if, if he don't do nothing else, probably two weeks to roll his lights up. He's got that many. All kinds of lights. But what kind of representation would it be if we only put up one light? But I want to expose this light to you this morning, just like Paul did on Mars Hill as he was preaching, amen, to the church hierarchy. He said, I see, amen, that you are a very superstitious people, meaning religious. Amen, listen to me what he said. You have an inscription on this, on this amen, on this monument or this, this idol, amen, this, this, this bear, amen, this altar of an unknown God. Amen, but I want to tell you about the one true God. I want to tell you about a God that loved you, amen, more than he loved, amen, anything else. Amen, why? Because he gave his only begotten son. Amen, he had him 
to be whipped, amen, with 39 stripes. He had his body to be marred that his vicious would not be, amen, known or common to man. In other words, he was so tore up, amen, that he was not hard to even recognizable, amen, the physical characteristics of Jesus Christ's body, amen, as he was ripped and tore to shreds. Amen, how many fathers would give their only, amen, son to be, amen, took, to be took to Calvary. Amen. Nails drove in his hand. Nails drove in his feet. Amen. A spear driven in his side. Amen. But glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. When God decorates a tree. Amen. He decorated it with only one light. Amen. But that light is still shining. Amen. Just as powerful today. Amen. As it was. Amen. When God put it there. Amen. Decorated it with just one light. Listen to me. I want to read some scripture. Then we're going to finish up. Matthew chapter 27. Did I tell you all that? 27 verse 33. Amen. We know that. And listen, I want to just meddle a little bit. We know that today that the world don't want to have anything to do with Jesus. All right. If they don't want to have anything to do with Jesus, then they ought not to be able to use Christmas, amen, to sell their goods. Come on now. For a lot of people, amen, it's just a, amen, a way. We don't want, amen, we don't believe in Jesus or we don't believe, amen, in Christ. We don't believe, amen, that he died for our sins. We don't believe all of these things, amen, but yet and still, they use the Christmas season as a tool to market, to sell their goods. A lot of them are going in the hole, amen, 11 months out of the year, amen, and it's that one month. It's that one Christmas month from Black Friday to day after Thanksgiving, amen, until the end of the year. They pull them up out of the hole. Amen. You know what, Brother Ronnie? Amen. They use Jesus Christ as a marketing tool to sell their goods. Amen. But that light was put on that tree. Amen. So that men could know that they was been bought with a price. What price? A price that I could not pay. A price that I could not give up. I've said many times, amen, I wish that there was a price, amen, that I could pay, amen, that I could guarantee my children, my daughter, my son, my grandchildren, amen, would go to heaven, my mama, my daddy, all of these things, amen, I could guarantee something that I could do, a prayer that I could pray, amen, but there's not nothing there, amen, and we got to get it for ourselves, amen, and not only do we got to get it for ourselves, amen, we got to pass it on, amen, glory to God that they'll get it. Hallelujah. We got to pass it on. Amen. Talked with a man one time. He didn't go to church, trying to encourage him to go to church. He said he didn't go to church because his mom and daddy made him go to church when he was young. Oh, well. They was trying to do a good thing, but during that night that he was grown and he was old enough to make his own decision, he didn't want to go because they made him go. Amen. God decorated a tree with one light. Let me read these scriptures to you and it's going to make it real to you. Verse 32 in chapter 27. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear the cross. Why? Amen. Because Jesus was so messed up. How many of y'all know that the blood that he shed, amen, was just not shed at Calvary? There was a lot of blood shed around the scourging post, amen, as he, amen, took on the stripes, amen, for the afflictions, amen, that we come into this place, amen, this morning, that we able to come, amen, but as Brother Ronnie bared out the scripture this morning, amen, to many as he called, amen, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God, amen, that means glory to God, amen, that we got the power, amen, to come into this place as the children of God and confess and believe, amen, and praise God, compel, a mighty God. For our healing. I believe I'm going to be healed. Amen. Through the stripes. Amen. Of my Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Faith. A tree decorated with only one light. Oh, but what a light it is. Listen. And as they came out. I've not read that. 33. It said when they... And when they were come into the place called Galgotha, that is to say the place of the skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingle with gall, and he, when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. Why? Because, amen, listen to me, amen, something worth having is something worth working for. Jesus Christ didn't want to be numb to the pain. It was the pain, amen, that he was coming, amen, to take away. He was coming to take away the stink of death. 
He was coming to take away, amen, the captivity of the grave. Come on now, y'all ought to be praising God this morning. Amen, for an old tree, amen, decorated with one light. Amen, but when God puts a light on a tree, amen, it's a tree, amen, it's a light that illuminates, amen, and touches, amen, where no, amen, earthly man-made light can even think about touching. This light touches in the soul, in the heart, in the, man, in, the, in the man of the man and the woman of the woman. Amen. Deep down inside. Amen. Where the light. Amen. Of these lights. Amen. Cannot touch. Amen. As far as this light can go. Amen. As to the epidermis of the skin. Amen. But the light that God put on his tree. Amen. Goes into the depths of the soul of man. Listen. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. Amen. I know he's going to have some more vesture. I know they took that, amen. But in the 19th chapter of the book of Revelation, somewhere right around the 11th verse on down, amen, you'll find, amen, that I think it's in somewhere around the 13th verse, if memory serves me correct. Amen. He said he had a vesture. I don't mean, you know what that means. He had a vesture that had dipped in blood. Amen. Amen. That means when he comes back, he's coming back. He's going to have, amen. You know what? He's going to have that heavenly garment on. Praise God. And you know what? We are too. Because the church is coming back, amen, with Christ when he comes back. Amen. To set things in order. Listen, praise God. I don't want to get too far off track. They parted his garments. They parted in my garments among them and my vesture did they cast lot. 36, and sitting down, they watched him there. And sitting down after they'd done all of this, hung him on a tree, nailed him to the cross. Amen, after God had decorated his tree. Amen, with the one light. Amen, they sat there and they looked at that light. Amen, and they was wondering why in the world, amen, that light would say something like this. Amen, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Amen, ladies, sin not to their charge. Amen, don't even find them guilty. Amen, of crucifying, amen. You're only begotten son. Amen, because it was for this purpose. Amen, that I came into this world. Amen, to redeem the world. Amen, through all them that believe. Amen. And we think about how, how powerful that is. That he said, lay this sin not to their charge, amen. And we here on earth, Christians, amen, we're so full of God, amen, that somebody can say a little something about us, amen, and we get nipped, amen, and wanna get, don't want to have nothing else to do with him. We want to uh, change churches and go and do everything different, amen, not have any kind of, we can't forgive, Amen, and then we want to call ourselves Christian, amen, saying we got God, amen, and the love of God working in our life, amen, whenever we cannot even forgive. I say, friend, amen, I beg you, amen, to reread your scripture, amen, and find if you can't forgive, amen, forgiveness will not be given unto you, amen, we got to love our brother, amen, the tree that God decorated, he decorated it with only one light, amen, but it's the most powerful light the world has ever seen. Just one light. And sitting down, they watched him there and they set up over his head an accusation written. They called it an accusation. But we now know it was the truth. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. And there when I wasn't going to read all these scriptures, but I am. Then there were two cru thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and the other on the left. And they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads, and saying, Thou that destroyest the temple and buildest it in three days, save thyself if thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Amen. They was looking at that, amen, with carnal eyes. He wasn't talking about the temple as the temple, amen. He was talking about, amen, tearing down this temple, amen, and taking it back in three days that he was going to raise it back up again. How many of you know, amen, this morning the light that was on a tree, amen, glory to God, it was resurrected, amen, and now glory to God stands in heaven, amen, the light of men, praise God. Woo! Likewise, also the chief priest mocking him with the scribes and elders said he saved others himself and cannot save. Verse 42, and he said, and if he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross and, he will, and we will believe him. He trusted in God, let him deliver, 
he trusted in God, let him deliver him now, if he will have him. For he said, I am the son of God. The thieves also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. In other words, they talked bad to him. Amen. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Ela, Lila, Lama Sabachni. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? How many of you know that whenever you're walking in sin? Amen. We know the Bible says that Jesus Christ neither sinned. Amen. Nor he knew any sin. Amen. But at this point, amen, the sin of the world. Amen was put upon that light, amen, but glory to God, amen, the light shone bright, amen, praise God. He said, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? All sin was laid upon him. Brother Bruce, where sin takes us down and destroys us, Amen, Jesus Christ was taking that light. Amen, was shining bright, amen, but you know what? There's pain in sin, even for the Savior. All your problems, all your cares. He says in the 11th chapter of Matthew, cast them upon me, praise God. Listen to this, I'm fixing to quit. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there, when they heard that, they said, this man calleth for Elias. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave to him to drink. And the rest said, let it be us, let, it be, uh, let us see whether Elias will come to save him. Verse 50, 51 and 52, and I'm going to quit. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was went train and in, tra- in twain from top to the bottom and from the earth, and the earth did shake, and the ro- rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. Praise God. Amen. Today. For God. that decorated the most beautiful Christmas tree. I'm talking about the one they lied in Washington that can't hold a candle to this tree. 